Hello guys, Damodaki2 here. We're back for another segment of the Steaming Pilot Ship Tournament. Uh, due to a last minute change that uh, was recommended by Mark 3 uh, we decided to have the Smolens facing off against the Kyushu. Uh, this is actually a battle that I've really been wanting to see myself because uh, both participants are excellent shipbuilders and uh, they both did extremely well in the aesthetics competition. Uh, so before we get to the actual battle itself, uh, just a reminder here that the Mades was the ship that w went up against Geo's Praetorian and basically bifurcated it via high explosives. So something to bear in mind. I'd be kind of terrified myself. Uh, with that said, uh, we have some guest commentators here. We have I am Mark Three, Lola Kari, and Jack. Say hello, gentlemen. Hello. hello. Yep. Does anyone have any predictions that they'd like to make before I start the uh, battle here? Well, in World of Warships, the Smolensk is a over overpowered ship, so my bet is. I've read that as well. Yes. Yeah. I have I have it uh, myself on World of Warships before it was removed. Hmm. Ah, so now it's a premier ship for you. Aya, uh, do you have anything that uh, you'd like to mention? Uh, we might be in for a little bit of a repeat of last time. We, Well, not last time, because that was... Um, Small is knocking me out of the competition. Mm -hmm. uh, the one before that that put um, Small X in a bit of a world of hurt. Mm -hmm. We've got um, a ship with heavier APS guns against the um, Small X light rapid fire ones. You do make a good point. Uh, Mady does build some pretty sturdy ships and he uh, does a lot of work to Min Max's uh, APS weapons. Yeah, he's also good with armor as well. I mean, as you said at the start, he's um, we've both got we've got two very good builders here, and both have fairly compact, well armored ships. Mm -hmm. But I think Matey's heavier cannons will probably tell the difference here. So mm -hmm. I would say Matey's probably going to win. Smolensk, uh, it does have the rapid fire advantage, but, but I don't really. Armor has stopped that before. Yes. Uh, Smallness is kind of light on the armor, like maybe just two layers on the outside. I'm not entirely sure what the uh, the Kyushu's armor is like, so we'll just have a... Oh, yeah, it's significantly thicker. <laughs> it looks like he did kind of a combination of uh, steel... Um, I'm sorry. Metal, alloy, metal, alloy... Yeah, he's got like four layers versus the Smolenses, too. Oh, well, yeah. uh, this means fires are only HE, and I don't think they can get far in this kind of armor. Uh, Lilakari, do you have any predictions on what may go on this round? Put Kushu up on the bear pistol here. I think I might have to go with that as well. It's got heavier armor and heavier weapons. Um, yeah. The Smolens was made to basically pick apart a lot of the vital systems, I think was his idea behind that, but uh, maybe he's gone for a lot more just sheer, sheer raw damage. So, be a very interesting yeah, match here. In real life, the Smolens is a light cruiser. You make a very good point. Remember last time we saw um, the Kyushu Dama, we were very interested in the pattern for his HE frag rounds. That is true. Um, well, we'll get the opening salvo out here and uh, have a look at those shells once again, just so people can uh, have a look and see what they're like. I, I think those are those just are the secondary. secondaries, yeah. Yeah, that's the main. Yeah, these things, they do pack a bit of... Uh, block damage, though I'm not entirely sure how well they would work in the current version of the game. Fairly well, I would think. I mean, I've been trying them out, and uh, I've not been having any real issues. Good to know. These might be a work they uh, look at, then. Might even try putting it into a tank destroyer in my uh, Ashes campaign. Which, I've already taken out the Dustwind Gypsies. 
So yay that. I'm going to probably be going against the Onyx Watch next. So anyway, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and continue the match. It looks like... Uh, First salvo way off target. Yeah. It looks like it might have been going for the uh, spotter vehicle there. I think it was. Oof. And that's another Miss Salvo. That's a clear advantage that Smolensk has. That's or, the first direct hit. Yeah, uh, already knocked out one of the turrets. Ooh. Yeah. Got the tech arm in that area as well. And Ooh, just the, there goes the rear superstructure. Looks like maybe he's still trying to shoot down that uh, spotter plane out there. I think I he probably should have done some work with his uh, local weapons controller. Right to the ship. Yep. Well, that and the uh, target prioritization could probably use a little bit more work, but I don't think I would even bother up. targeting the uh, spotter planes myself. And yeah, we probably should get a quick look at uh, Kyushu here. I'm just going to pause it so we don't miss any amazing catastrophic explosions. Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh... Looks like... All the main guns are still operational. Uh, looks like uh, these guys here got knocked out fairly quickly. But I think those are just really light anti-aircraft guns, so... Yeah, only yeah. moderate damage. It's uh, nothing serious done to accuse you of the armor. Uh, a lot it. of it's just superficial right now. Mm. Let's have a okay. quick look at Smolensk here. Uh, uh, Jack, did you have something you wanted to add? Uh, if I, I wanted to ask... Are these small guns on the Kyushu uh, actual functional guns or more decoration? Uh, the Tritary ones that Mady has on here, those are mostly decoration, like uh, like this one right here. Uh, these are uh, sure too small for actual functional guns. Well, this yeah, they, these have no functioning capacity whatsoever. They're just meant to look nice. Um, the secondary guns here. Uh, they're very, very light. And I think... Yeah, he, he put most of his effort into the main weapons themselves. And he must have did a hell of a job armoring them, because... About a minute in and not a single one of them has been knocked out yet. Whereas Yars over here, it's already lost one of these turrets. Like this dude right here. Ouch. Ouch, yeah. But in those first opening salvos, Yar was able to uh, dodge a lot of that incoming fire. But it would have probably been only a matter of time. There goes another one. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that was a big explosion there. A lot of mimics, I think. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of the block confetti coming off of this was mimics. Let's have a quick look at uh, Kaiyushu here. Again, going to pause it real quick. I'm not quite sure why it's targeting this area here. Random block selection targeting. Quite possibly. I would have gone with a concentrated block targeting, but that's just me. Mm, on that, there is actually a new targeting mode I've noticed recently in current. Oh, what's that? Uh, heat source. Targeting. Yes, I saw that as well, but since uh, these are meant to be steam-powered vessels, I don't think that would do anyone no, if, a whole lot of good in this. No, if, if this was current, they'd go after the boilers. Boilers actually produce heat now, huh? Yeah. It's about damn they time. The they didn't is, before. Uh, the question is, is boilers directly or the uh, exhaust? Hmm. Uh, probably the exhaust, but... Um, but the boys themselves are also a heat source. Now it's depending where the mo Oof. what uh, is hotter. True that. Um, but also of note is the IR detection. Sorry, targeting needs IR detection. Mm. Otherwise, it switches to random block mode. Superstructure is practically gone on Smolensk here. Does it? How many guns does it even have left now? Um, probably what, what, just these. Uh, one towards uh, yeah, I yeah I just saw it uh, shoot one of the one of the um, casemate guns. That's the only one that I've seen firing at the moment. Uh, it just lost the entire 
turret right here. That one's completely gone. Yeah. Uh, Smolens is complete, completely busted. Yeah. Smolens is boned. They've still got a case, mate. Do you really think that case mate's going away? No, but we have. That cell is going to hurt like hell. Left in the past, so. Yep. Uh, yeah. matey has got almost. Uh, a little over a 10% lead on it right now. Actually, more like a 17% lead. I'm sorry, 15%. My bad. Yeah, but that's not much that um, Smollett can do to try and claw that back. No. Which... One of the things that I've been kind of surprised of is that torpedoes weren't nearly as popular as I thought they'd be, but that's probably because... They were all just going to be dumb fire. Yeah, if they'd been guided, they would have probably been on nearly every entry. But uh, dumb fire, not that reliable. They've been. I think that's going to be what uh, gets the uh, Trident to win, though. Is uh, it Maybe. has some very very nasty frag torpedoes spam. Have you have, you have seen that these uh, dumb torpedoes can still be a threat? I don't yeah. know. I don't know who, whose ship is what it was. Uh, you certainly found out. It was very early in the uh, tournament. All right. Well, it looks like Mady we'll has a pretty more. clear win here. I don't think it's ever going to be able to hit that thing. So we'll just call it there since the small ones has completely been downed. So yeah, that was a fairly good match. Wasn't quite as long as the last one, but I still, I still enjoyed that. All right. So let's set up for the next one. Yeah, I mean, um, don't get me wrong, I wasn't saying the torpedoes can't do anything. We've seen that quite a few times, the torpedoes uh, making critical hits, especially on Geo's ship. That was nice. Yeah, too bad yeah. he's not here to moan and groan over that. I kind of miss it. <laughs> he did plenty at the time, though. <laughs> mm -hmm. But uh, I imagine after uh, this tournament, if I do plan on doing this one in the future, a lot of people are going to be putting <laughs> torpedoes on turrets. Well, I, I'm surprised that um, people didn't think to do that anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same here. It's like, guys. You put yeah, the Trident's the only one that I think's actually done that. Uh, no, mine has torpe had torpedoes uh, in Are, its outfit. Oh, I guess I wasn't able to find them. Okay. There was also... Um, there, was a set, there was a couple of others that did. I mean, um, I, what was it? The super thing? <laughs> The one that was massively underweight for this tournament? Mm hmm. That one had uh, torpedoes in turret fitting. So, yeah, there's uh, been a few ships that have had turreted torpedo launchers, but uh, then the Laru had um, hull mounted ones. Yeah. Which I think was actually rarer. Yeah, uh, I think he's the only one that I can really think of off the top of my head that did hull mounted. But uh, that makes sense since uh, hull mount it requires you to turn the entire ship. Yep. So, is there uh, any comments that we'd like to make before we start up this match again? Smolensk get uh, Smolensk get shredded. <laughs> yeah, most likely. Yeah. We put Kyushu on a pedestal, and we had our reasons to do so. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately. Well, here we go. I think with the prizes, Mady is probably going to make out of this like a sticky bandit. He's already gotten second place in the aesthetics. He has, from what looks like, a very, very strong ship that could very well take the whole thing. I should also mention that it is undefeated, whereas the Smolensk has actually uh, lost at least once already. If the Smolens does get uh, defeated in this round, it will be eliminated from the tournament. Oh, there goes the uh, superstructure. Mm -hmm. well, a big chunk of it. If not all, if not all of it. No, there's still a fair bit left. It just blew out the mast and, like, maybe half of the structure itself. As poorly as it's doing against the, um, the Kaiushu, it should be mentioned that uh, it 
it's probably had like maybe four or five matches now, and I I consider that pretty good considering. Oh, yeah, it's it's proved to um, it can hold its own against a lot of designs so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just not able to be everything, which uh, no ship can do. Really. No. Nope. If a ship could defeat everything, it would be called a super ship. Uh, also, something I just want to mention is uh, something I'm considering doing uh, after the tournament is concluded. I might just try doing like exhibition matches uh, for people who'd be curious as to who would win against who. So if you guys have any suggestions in that, feel free to leave those in the comments down below in the video or come to the Discord and talk to me about it. Of course, they will be exhibition matches only. They won't have any bearing on the tournament. It just, uh, I think it'd be fun for people to see some what-ifs, if that makes sense. No, that's fair. I mean, it's, it's just like um, when you reshuffled them before this fight, it's uh, to get matches that haven't happened before. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Very nasty work there, matey. You should be proud. I don't even know if he plays from the depths anymore after uh, a lot of what's transpired with that. I think this is like one of the last builds he made for that. Um, according to this, in the last two weeks, he's played 50 minutes. So mm. it's, it's, it's still not uh, completely gone from the game, but it's like he's barely touching it at the moment. Well, can't say I blame him. I mean, there's a lot of sore spots left with a lot of us over uh, the yeah. events of the last year and a half. Yeah. Maybe he just take a break. I can't say... Yeah, I, I would have blamed him if he just wanted to take a break. Yeah. You burn out if you play it too, uh, one game too long. Crazy thing is though, I don't get burnout near as often as a lot of other people do. That, that's what I call dedication. Mm -hmm. Though now that I think about it, um, the 105 days run and 7 days to die, I'm thinking of rebooting that because I've thought of better ways to do it and I don't want to sit through and edit like 90 minutes of film for each episode. <laughs> Ooh. Now you know why I often don't do time skips and stuff. Yeah, um, I I think I'm just going to pause recording for, like, when I'm doing really manual stuff, like gathering t or going to and from spots and doing, uh, Mining. possibly, huh? Mining, Mining that and... would be a good reason to do it. Um, so, no well, actually, if I did, like, the mining in a time lapse and, like, the building stuff in a time lapse, I think that would be okay. But uh, all the Romanian stuff, like traveling... I think I could just cut that out entirely. Yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah, don't see a uh, loss of a uh, video there. Mm -hmm. uh, it might just be worth it cutting that out entirely because that's just more editing work that I have to do. But uh, we have a winner. Uh, Mady has successfully beaten the Smolens twice. Uh, my condolences to Yar the Bug. You had a, a gorgeous, very powerful ship, but it just could not stand up to these crazy ass guns that Mady put together that uh, seem to just nuke everything it comes across. Yeah, and all the plot with the spotter crashes in the ship and the AI that it is the key issue. Mm -hmm. So I guess I'll have to wrap up the video there folks so I'd like to thank you all for watching this has been Damadoc82 with uh, Lilakari, I am Mark 3 and Jack. Uh, hope you have yourselves a hell of a day and keep your hammer high. Later. See you guys next time. Later. Bye.